using of subtools to get that initial shape. Now they have a new feature here in ZBrush 4 that I want to kind of quickly go over and that's remesh. It'll help you um, get your beginning wad of clay. So that whole, this whole chapter is about getting that basic wad of clay. What are you going to do to produce that basic wad? Here I have subtools and I have a single lone mesh in here. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little messy with this mesh. I am going to start just going insane with it and breaking all rules of unification and not paying any attention to anything. I just want to make some kind of weird thing. Okay. There we go. I'm surely that broke everything. And I am going to smooth that out holding shift a little bit. And then I'm going to take this thing and remesh it. So I'm going to remesh it by taking all these off and choosing a resolution. Now the resolution, I want it to kind of be able to have all my levels still. So I'm going to choose a resolution of 24. And I get this. Now, if I go here and kind of look at um, the polygon structure of this thing, it's all quads. It closely matches the other one a little bit more. Um, I would argue that the topology is kind of awful on it. But for an initial base mesh, it's not too bad. It's all quads. Surely there's some funny things going on in this area, but uh, let's let's look at this a little bit differently. Let's take it and use this new feature called Project All. Okay. And then what we're going to do is up the geometry count by dividing it. And then again, we're going to Project All. And we're going to do that. Divide, project all. Then over here, I'm going to lower it again and polish it. And then project all. And what you're going to find out is you've now fixed. Uh, the resolution of the first ones, but let's, let's go all the way through these levels and project all the way through. Once in a while I would take and maybe polish the surface a little bit and then project all again. I just found that that really does uh, a nice job of using the initial first form. Okay, so I think that's good enough. So let's look at both these shapes for a second. Now I'm going to uncheck the first one and look at the second one. So the second one, you can see it's got the same shape as the first one. Here's the first one. And you can also see this by using transform solo mode. So solo mode allows me to click on these in conjunction with each other and you'll see the polygon structure. Okay, so let's update that frame. I do that by clicking here and clicking here again. And let's look at the polygon structure here especially. This mess right here. Let's look at what that looks like here. so much better so so much better so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the test and this is as I said this is a good 101 lesson of how to get good form so you should always learn to test things always here's my standard brush I'm gonna draw an S in this area I don't know why the letter S 
And I'm going to go back to the other one and try to draw the letter S. I'll take frame that off. And I got RGB on. That's what's going on with the whole why the S is black. But you can see as I zoom in here and I try to draw that S, it doesn't really make sense. And this one, it makes sense. So that is a good way to use the sphere to your advantage and still produce an abstract shape and then use the project all feature to kind of take and uniform the shape back so it holds detail. Alright, please move on to the next lesson.